Oh yes, Ogvoker bullying! Yeah, this is dire. It's oh. really frustrating because Blizzard know this was going they knew this was going to happen. And they did what they could to solve it, but they couldn't do enough to solve it. And it seems like they literally just aren't. Yeah. But first of all, oh yeah, nice, nice meme. Good meme. The last I've seen I will say the FF ones are better just because of Ozma mm. and the black hole, but also that's why does Las Vegas have a giant? Oh yeah, because FanFest is in Las Vegas as well, so everyone's going, yeah, it's just going to black hole and kill all the players. Sweet. Um, now, Matt, I don't know if you're down for a bit of roleplay, but I think we should. So, oh Matt, I have a question for you. Yes. Why no Og? Why no Og? Why no Og? <laughs> He's scanning. What, 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 what part are you looking at? Why no Og? It's a trap. You know it buffs the other four people, right? Lamau. Yeah. But when the damage is lower than the healer? There you go. Buffs are gone. These are fucking great. What the f***, Drakthir? Bro, no. 20k DPS? Are you kidding me? Trash! Leaves the party. Yeah. Dude, we can't carry you. You have 26k DPS. I was doing that amount in the shadow, lads. I'm augmentation. And 26k is really, really low. It's so funny to me. But if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll notice that they've finally done it. They've finally, World of Warcraft, the developers have somehow magically brought the concept from Final Fantasy XIV's Party Finder of macros over. Yes. So now, <laughs> augmentation focus of macros that they post at the start of a dungeon. Hello, my fellow Mythic Plus players. Just a heads up, I'm playing the Augmentation Evoker. As you may or may not know, Augmentation Evokers buff other players. Details and other in-game damage meters cannot pick up my buffs directly and give me their DPS. That DPS is instead given directly to the players I'm buffing. So please don't judge me for any low numbers you see in details. It's not really low. Please just let me play the game like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of how that's going. <laughs> yeah. And you'll notice exactly the one above that is, you know, I got told I was AFK by a guy in the 17 BH I was running. And you see that the two red paladins there are doing 151 and 146k DPS. Wonder how that happened. That's a lot of damage. Those red players must be really good and extremely geared to the absolute. That's like to the tits. incredible. I can see why if you're doing that. And then, I mean, look at that uh, prop DPS as well. We can't see the number, but it's pretty damn high. Mm. Yeah, so I, I love it. It's like the, everyone's overestimating their own big brain. So the augmentation evoker making other people stronger actually makes them look worse. Yeah. And this ultimately, like, is it Blizzard's fault? I mean, it, it can in a way be. It is, but they don't but yes. have control over the details add-on. Um, uh, that's the thing where... The, again, but the combat the, logging's there, so the advanced combat logging, not details the not works de de off de regular. details reads the regular combat logs because advanced combat logs are dumped to yeah, thing. They're dumped to That's why live logging is yeah. after after the fight it uploads instead of as you go. So you kind of go, okay, well, it's literally you can't really do that. So it is an awful situation of they need to educate their players, but also it's third party stuff. And they have said this in interviews. They've literally said this, but they haven't made like a big public, listen, everyone, you're all using details. We know that because that kind of breaks the, like, uh, the what's the term? Or something. The they, they yeah. Can't, yeah, they can't acknowledge it. Yeah, it's really like frustrating to me. Yeah, it's it's like, there is just this bit of me that says like, roll out the guillotine. <laughs> we had all these dickheads. So I kind of agree, but... Also, there is, there's a little bit of, and I know, like, I don't know if I completely always feel this way, but there's definitely a case of, like, this system is a setup that this is going to happen to them. Oh, yes. Because yes. of how they, like, the, what is the metric you look at? The only metric in this video game for if you're doing well beyond success, because success is a pretty open metric and could be doing with anything. It's the same reason, like, you know, success isn't always DPS. Success is, have you dodged mechanics? Have you stunned mobs? Have you interrupted mobs? Stuff like that. So this is the case of like, it just doesn't, the, the people are trained and have been since 2006 to look at DPS meters and go, well, my DPS is big, so I'm good. Because that's the only, that's a simple one to understand as opposed to anything else. And that's just the, the complete nightmare that they've put themselves in through never addressing this before. But also it was fine until now. And also everyone knew this going in. 
And they had these discussions for ages. They talked about it like time and time again. They obviously like listening to the interviews with I can't remember his name now because I was doing watching it last week. But the combat lead for Wow, who's the yeah. like the guy who led the Evoker stuff. Uh, fantastic like interviews really really well and like clearly understood all these problems w work went super hard talked about the like history of like how they tried it internally when only buffed one person realized it's bad they clearly they've been through the ringer with Ogvoker Og they figured out all of the problems it's just they couldn't literally engineer the solution to this and you think well why do they not just engineer the solution for it just just make it work forehead and they were saying that they like haste so you go PI why can Ogvokers be tracked in Warcraft logs, but Shadow Priest or Priests can't? And the answer is because haste is complicated. That's the answer. Because you go, well, how much haste happens? How much did haste result in you having, you know, a slightly more energy? This is slightly like the, more, yeah. the faster you get to the speed of light, the faster your haste goes, the more it all goes fucky wucky. <laughs> yeah, it's like you could you could say, well, okay. 20% yeah. haste is pro like 20% more damage, but that's in complete isolation, not including how much your haste rating is affected or anything like that. It's kind of it's kind of awkward. And it's the same with the the prescience, the crit that they give, that Ogvokers give. That is tracked, but I'm pretty sure that's not tracked for weird cases like Seal Fate for Rogues, where or the other one for um, uh, Feral Druids, where if you crit with a combo point generator, you can get another combo point. How do you math that out? Yeah. It's an extremely complicated, like, mathematical, like, thing for engineering in the back end. For your logs, and they're like, we can't do that. And also not if the servers explode, probably. So what do we do? And it's like, I feel like it actually does need to be, like, a, uh, just a tutorial in-game where it goes third-party damage meters do not represent augmentation evoker damage. Augmentation evoker damage, th their damage comes from, uh, from showing no, other no, people, no, no. but... Matt, do you think anyone's going to read that? Mm. They're going to say, they're going to say, yeah. panel I don't recognize, X button I can click to make panel go away, click. Yeah. Because that's how people work. They it's don't true. actually see any of the text. The text is just this blur that says information, and then they can have the info go bye-bye button. They click that and gone. That's true. And you can't really do much about that. Yeah. Really, like it's just it's just a frustrating element of. I hope they get this fixed at some point. I hope they realize, okay, well, this is clearly necessary. So but it's a teething mm, pain. Yeah, that's the thing where I think this might actually be okay in a while, uh, but only because Ogvoker is very clearly intentionally way too strong. Because at the minute you look at what Mythic Plus players are saying, they're like, ah, we now have a fixed comp. Maybe not because I believe Mage might have just been nerfed. With hot fixes, oh. but the current comp that's the actual like if you play this you win if you don't play this you win slightly less because it's yeah. not that big is guardian druid holy paladin because holy paladins yeah. are ridiculous at the minute just completely off the off the walls what what, si what uh, mm. side of their power is ridiculous right now uh so they just got a load of stuff and all their stuff does loads of big numbers oh, so it's just the general tuning yeah, yeah they okay. got their like they don't use light of dawn or word of glory anymore they just holy shock all day long because they holy shock all day long. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That would almost make me go there. Change the mastery and I'm in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then there's Shadow Priest because Shadow does the decent amount of damage and also brings PI, which is crazy strong mm -hmm. in a Mythic Plus uh, like, as version. As Donut says, I use damage meters as a metric save and playing, playing correctly. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you ban these meters, like, you're not going to... There's no way to ban them. No, you and you could try to lock down a bunch of stuff, but like even you know, you look at FF, they've been able to work around a solution for that. And I think the game is plenty fun with a uh, damage meter because a damage meter does like it's feedback. It's feedback to how well you played, and as a player, that does make you feel better. Yeah, playing FF for the damage meter makes my brain very good, being yeah, a good way because you happy I, tickle. Yeah, because I play ninja and I'm oh. quite sweaty. Yeah. So whenever I'm like, cause I don't like do savage, but whenever I'm starting a patch and I get the gear and i'm like ah look at me so, i am doing good damage i can beat that samurai fuck you um, like it, it, it works for me yeah. but it's clearly like the problem is that in wow specifically and in ff you're not allowed to do this you can't kick people for doing bad damage because you, i mean you can you can kick them and then give another reason but if you literally type bad damage then they can report you and the gms will show up and go well how'd you know what their damage was dickhead and then you go, uh, 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 and then you get thrown in GM jail. 
which is like not like a massive you're gone forever but it is like the the culture is don't talk shit about people's damage just like cut cut it clean and go away if there is a problem but there generally isn't so right the normal combat logging is just what the game is kind of like shitting out there in real time yeah advanced combat logging i assume that is writing to file as fast as it can spit those numbers out but not real time i i'm not actually sure but i believe something like that i'm sure there's a reason details are not reading combat logging because i imagine it's one of those things where if they were to get Ogvoker represented in the normal combat log the likes of details use maybe there's i mean you you think about how it would stage processing a lot of those numbers yeah and it would likely be well maybe they would just have to do some optimization work to get details going maybe the hmm because like yeah it's yeah. funny you look at details and uh it has like a polling rate and you can yeah. change the polling rate um, and you know you can make that really high so that like your details is just real mm, buttery smooth. smooth it's gorgeous or you can make it so it's like a little bit more chunked if everybody was rate limited then maybe it would be easier perhaps for them to include arc broker um, anyway. uh, i think it's actually more of i don't think it's a details problem ah, see, it's I, definitely I, I, def I have no idea how this works in the back end i'm not entirely sure, sure but i'm uh how do i put this I'm extrapolating from how your man, combat lead man, I'll find his name because I don't like saying your combat lead man. Combat uh, man! talked about it because... Because Kalamazi interviewed him. What was his name? It was... I mean, apologies. hey, if your job is to lead mm. combat and everyone knows you as combat man, that probably is like... That's mm. probably good. Graham Berger, that's his name. Senior, senior game designer, Graham Berger. Ah. And he was talking about... Uh, like, Because Kalamazi asked him about it. And he was talking about how that actually like plays out for them, and he said something to the to the effect of, it was very very very, like it was a massive engineering undertaking to do this as it was, mm. and the way he like spoke implies that there's no chance this happens to combat logging, without maybe maybe something like an expansion to your stuff maybe, but it's clearly like a there was no yeah we're working on that it was. I mean, some of this is because he's, like, a senior game designer. He's not going to have, like, carte blanche to say whatever he wants in terms of plans. But, he, like, the way he was speaking was very, this is how it works. This is a decision we've come to. And, obviously, it's not a great decision because everyone knew this was going to happen. Everyone asked was going, this is going to happen. Duh, of course. And they're like, well, there's not really much. But also Blizzard aren't in the habit of saying, sorry, we couldn't do that. They're in the habit of saying, this is how it is and not really going beyond that in a way but it was like clearly clearly they know it's gonna happen there was a little bit of him describing it as you know people who see their damage is low for og voker players it shouldn't matter to them or it won't matter to them because they're intended to be more of the like player who's more focused on support and helping people the more what do you say ah what's the term he used ah, i can't remember the term he used but kind of the more generous player the more uh i'm really bad at words today I ah, get it. people yes. who like to play healers yeah people, people who, who like to pi somebody and see their damage go up yes. because that's satisfying yeah it was very much you're stuck to playing a tank and healer if you're a healthy person so if you're a healthy person you now have a new option you can now yeah. yes you can now be measured in helps per second yeah so it kind of sucks that it's gone this way like altruistic that's exactly the term he's using yes thank you thank there you is, very much there is one thing i will say though mm -hmm. why are we talking about this because it does remind me of, so last night, me and Matt went onto a great website called Belfast Life. So we did. And that's where we found out about, you know, somebody who was thrown off a cliff, uh, some other form of violent thing, and a bunch of other violent things, you know, all just happening around the city. Um, now, proportionately, Belfast is actually, and this may be shocking to some people who remember us from such things as bombs uh belfast is like one of the safest uh, or safer mm. cities in in europe belfast is like safer than loads of those like big english cities as an example um but you know you look at that way you know you look at just the bad stuff and you'll be like oh my god i ooh, we can't go outside mm. so with this it is still worth remembering that by default because here's what's going to happen 
we're going to have a laugh at this. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be an Asmongold stream segment. And uh, fucking Cat Danny and the other fella, they are going to title that in a way that is absolutely chef's kiss when mm. it comes to engagement. And then the whole internet is going to assume that every single Ogvoker is just this fucking stomped on little weakling, right? Mm. Is it actually going to be like that? Four percentage of people pugging, yes. Four percentage of people of in, in gutter guilds, yes. But by virtue of talking about this, because it is genuinely fascinating and newsworthy, we also, by default, uh, explode or... We or exacerbate sort of, the problem, yeah, yes. We like almost exacerbate it by talking about it, because the other side of this coin is just business as usual. It's working fine. There's literally nothing interesting yeah. to talk about yep. here. And that's why that's there's a good element to this, oh. which is, I don't think we have any data here. I'll just check real quick. Um, we do not. But anyway, so like I can. Yeah, uh, it's kind of just like rough opinion. So, it actually it might might actually be good if you could maybe fire the Warcraft log stuff. Uh, if you could look for the damage stats, see them maybe high. But anyway, where, where can I find this? Just Warcraft logs. Check the stats. See if they may be parsing well. But I'll tell you what it is. The point is, I was saying there about the raids, Abrus, M plus stuff, right? The M plus meta. And the meta is Guardian Druid, it's busted. Holy Paladin, it's really busted, really strong healing. Shadow Priest, because PI. Mage, because it's doing pretty well at the minute. And obviously it's getting uh, nerfed like next week, because it's over strong. But the last part is Ogvoker. And everyone who's like Mythic Plus pushing and playing like Mythic rating and stuff mm. is going, oh my god, we need Ogvokers. We need to like set aside who are our two Ogvokers. Because we need them. We literally, not that we need them, need them, need them, but... Like, we absolutely want them because they're so goddamn good. They're so unbelievably good. And the meta will drip down from that. Or like maybe that's part of the intention so, by them being strong. I've went for... Uh, mm. I've, I've got some numbers here. Yeah. And they're actually not necessarily great. But again, I'm not exactly sure what is being represented here. So uh, uh, Pure DPS is going to be a little bit challenging compared to the fact that they're... So here's what we have. Mm -hmm. This is 75th percentile over the last week uh, per second of ounce 1015. Yeah. Uh, and it's heroic. I decided not to use Mythic because I feel like if we all if we only use 95th percentile Mythic, yeah, that's yeah. not going to be representative for most viewers. Yeah. Um, so we can certainly see that... Ogvoker is down here at the bottom, and your you know your seventy fifth percent percentile score is just above ninety k. Now I have to assume are, yeah. that that is inclusive of their buffed up damage. I would imagine so because if not, it would be a lot lower. But also that doesn't seem quite right to me, just because I've seen people say they're way way. Based on what people are saying in Mythic Plus, yeah, that's what's yeah. kind of confusing to me. But one of the other things is that is I'll go to R slash competitive wow. Yeah, but but I'll like it's hard to get metrics, but people are literally talking about how this is genuinely crazy strong. And not just because of the fact that they bring a lot of DPS, which they do. Yeah, it's it's the more that, it's more that they are also an extremely strong off healer. They're relatively simple to play. They have all of the Ogvoker support stuff, but also one of the reasons they work well with Guardian Druid, as far as I'm concerned, or, or I'm aware, is because the fact that they give bonus percentage armor is crazy. It's percentage of their own, but they add bonus armor and tanks are feeling really strong with an Ogvoker. And they also give tanks a bunch of DPS, which is like uh, percentage-wise making tanks way more effective like than you would expect. So there's a lot of stuff coming together where they're really, really crazy. Oh, and also pet damage isn't included as well for uh, for advanced logs. Yeah. So even then, the advanced logs here aren't going to be completely representative because they're not going to do things like... You look at the Holy Death Knight's really strong there. You look at uh, Demonology Warlogs up there. Hundreds up there. You're going to be missing a little bit of that. But if you, bust, if you buff players that aren't very good, would your parse be worse? Yes, it would. That's the fun part of applying this. But ultimately, they are like really actually super meta it's just that they're not super meta for everyone yet because people haven't seen that trickle down they haven't seen sub creation say augmentation is s tier s mm -hmm. plus tier because if you don't bring one you're way worse so i think that's the part that's really honestly insane it's like that that being super meta and being super strong and having all that support by design will actually work i think that'll work in its favor overall 
it'll just be there. Oh, same with the uh, Ignite as well. So it's a case of in a raid, you're more likely to have it not work because of reasons. But if you went M plus, it'd be crazy. It'll be busted. I mean, I'm sure you could look at maybe uh, like Raider Dio top recents or something like that, and maybe find. Yeah, I'm actually I'm looking at recents right now. Yeah, um, you'll probably see. A here's lot of a pool like. of Chrono Lord mm. Deus, where again, like okay, here's the problem though. This is n equals one, so it kind of means nothing. Yeah. Um, oh, there's. I mean, there's augmentation evoker is currently S tier. On sub creation yeah so i've slapped one yeah. thing in here where yeah. you can see and uh apologies people whose log i've just found in the internet yeah. so we can see here grow lash yeah. this uh, frost dk this is a perfect example yes. and i'll tell you exactly why because look at this right you can see this here and this is an ogvoker doing 83k dps mm -hmm. which is way more than this elisham way more than this blood decay and not as much as this frost decay but you see these, oh, hang on, no, that's the Ogvoker amount of damage. No, that's pet damage. That looks too big to be pet damage. That is Rune Weapon and Risen Ghoul. Yeah, so th those are way too big to be pet damage. Oh. Greater Storm, Elemental, and yep. Risen Ghoul. They're pet damage. Wait, no. Ogvoker doesn't get pet damage. So that is, it literally, Ogvoker is probably doing close to maybe 90k there. Hang because on. it's not broken yet. Let me throw something else in here. Mm. Yeah, because I think it's important we get to the bottom of this. So here's a screenshot. This is just from, it's in our dock just below that one you're on right now. Um, and this is from Warcraft Logs. Uh, augmentation in Logs. So Blizzard yeah. added a lot of new hooks to help uh, have combat log support for Augmentation Evoker, and because of this, they're able to do precise tracking. <laughs> when viewing the default damage tab of a log containing an Aug Invoker, you'll find all damage that players gain from the Evoker's buffs is re-attributed re yep. back to the Evoker. This includes, yep, things like that, but does not include abilities such as moats, as their impact cannot be quantified. Yeah, that's exactly So, right. yeah, in, in that case, then... Yeah. If you were to look at the details of this, yeah. you would have everyone looking way higher in DPS and the Ogvoker looking lower in DPS. Yeah. Essentially, I believe. Mm -hmm. yep. Allegedly, in the fullness of time. Well, I mean, yeah, that's literally how it works. Yes. It's the same thing, <laughs> uh it's the same thing as RDPS. It's just RDPS isn't actually perfectly done just yet. Basically. They haven't been able to, f to finesse that in terms of how the like combat logs go. But basically, this is... Ogvoker's really good. That's the point. Ogvoker is really good. It's just details doesn't show that. That's Actually, more or less is, it. Like. This is kind of interesting. I'm just looking at these here. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the uh, main you know, damage this Ogvoker is doing is uh, Ab and Might. Yeah, because that is their buff. buff. Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong button. So, I mean, you, like, okay, so here, here's an example. How much of that percentage is, how much does Evan might do for them in that example? Uh, it does 33.58% of their damage. Which means if you, look at if you look at details, they will do 33% less damage because Evan might will not give them any damage. Uh, well, it might give them their own damage, which is small by comparison, but yeah. Yeah, and as a final thing, mm -hmm. so here is just a screenshot. You can see I'm mousing over this Ogvoker's... Uh, yeah, it should appear for you in a sec. Yep. I'm mousing over this Ogvoker, and uh, yeah, so this is me mousing over Ebb and Might, mm -hmm. and you can see the multiple players there that, uh, you know, were benefiting, I, I suppose, from yeah. the Ebb and Might. So Grolash, who is the person who's doing the most damage there, uh, they got 3.58 million additional damage because of Ebb and Might. Now, that said, they have more than just Ebb and Might, of course. Um, that That's are contributing, you know, there's like the likes of, say, breath, shifting... Breath, presence, fit, and shifting are, are work. Yep, so shifting sands is mm -hmm. doing 12% of the Ogvoker. Mm -hmm. And what was the other one? Prescience? Yeah, prescience. It's the and crit. Prescience, yeah. breath of eons, and fate mirror will all have... So parts. fate mirror is 4.38% of their damage. Prescience is 3.19. Breath of eons is 3.14. Yep. So you can see how all these things basically add up and how details will extremely distort this. And then for whatever technical reasons, it appears that the regular real-time combat logging data feed that the likes of Details and Recount taps into, I think it's everyone who uses It's every, yeah, it's, yeah. Um, that basically, uh, it, it's just not set up such that Details can use that, which is a big pity. And I imagine that the devs of Details 
wish they were able to do something as well. Yep. There, there's like no, no two ways about it. Everyone knows a crack. Everyone knows exactly what's going on here. It's just people who don't have the knowledge and aren't interested in finding out the knowledge and don't want to think about it and just go, oh, there's the number said low. The number, number says low. low. Me angry. Yeah, exactly. So it is just... The t time will tell whenever Ogvokers stay at S tier forever and ever and ever in Mythic Plus. So Matt. And there's like, uh, there's every single M Plus group goes, need Og. Like, you know what they say, man? What is it? It is what it is. It sure is. Stunning analysis.